back to Louisville. Freedom Hall with our championship final women's freestyle at the NWC Multi-Divisional National Duel. Presented by the United States Marine Corps Defense Soap. We're going to meet Cheyenne Sissenstein from King already with the short drag and the two-point takedown. Her opponent, Alexia Ward. Ward ranked number 10 in the country. It's a Fargo All-American back in high school. She's a senior out of Portland, Oregon, Westview High School. While Sissenstein, a freshman out of Johnson City, New York. I know you were trying to sing along with the uh, old Crow Medicine show there for a moment, but uh, Johnson City, New York, Maine and well, high school. Ranked number four in the country. She was a Fargo All-American. 123 pounds. Again, another freshman. Four straight freshmen to start off before we get to the two non-freshmen. We bookend it with four more freshmen for King. Ward looking gator roll. Oh, that was pretty. Took that front headlock, headlock roll through and got two on it. And now Sissenstein going to come out with the one-point reversal. No? What do we got? Okay, four points was the call on the gator roll. So two points and then on the, uh, the counter there. So they did say that was a, a takedown. They did not say that was a reversal, at least according to the school board. That's what it says. So four points on the board for each athlete. Ward has criteria as she had the four-point action. As you can see, it popped up there on the school board. And again, two out of the three officials have to confirm. So halfway through the first period, Sissenstein and Ward. Alphabet A's here for McHenry. We have an Alexandra who goes by Alex, and Alexis, and an Alexia. So. All A-plus athletes, we might add. Trying to work the short offense is Ward. Each team's got here. McKendry was the top seed, had an opening round bye, then beat eight seeded Southern Oregon 34 to 9. And then number four, Emmanuel 22 to 17. King, the number three seed, had to open up with the University of the Cumberlands, the number six seed, beat them 24 to 20 before beating number two seeded Wayland Baptist 26 to 20. Again, with a lineup of eight freshmen. To make a final. The future looks bright for Jason Mormon and the Tornado. It's Tornado singular, not Tornadoes. And both these teams will compete at the WCWA Nationals, hosted by Life University in suburban Atlanta, second weekend in February. And we go to the 30-second break. Of course, both, both assistant coaches, Salata, Julia Salata there on your screen, and Gabby Wyrick. Competed for spots on the national team. Salata in Final X, while Wyrick wrestled for a spot for third place. Matter of fact, they both competed at the same Final X in Bethlehem at Lehigh University. Mentioning that international wrestling is one reason for the success of women's wrestling in the United States has been the fact there is a true developmental system with our collegiate wrestling programs. Very similar to what we see from our neighbors to the north in Canada. They've had women's wrestling in the colleges for a long time. And they've also had a steady stream of very successful women's wrestlers at the international level. Also interesting that these schools will build in the USA Wrestling calendar events. Such as the Dave Schultz, the, the Bill Farrell. Things of that nature where... It's not just the starters who get the mad times, the entire program. 
And passivity being offered. And that will be confirmed by the Matt Chairman. So 4-4 four, four the score. Ward holding the criteria, however. Sissenstein looked for a swing and a miss on the headlock. Just at least thought about it. Going with the 2-1-1 on -one Russian tie. Nice short drag. Good counter by Ward. Do we have a step out? We do have a step out confirmed. So now Sissenstein will take the lead. And we will have a challenge coming in. Or do we not? Giant rolled up towel usually would indicate that that's a challenge brick, but no, not going to do that. Oh, okay, it was it was white paddle. No wonder. No step out. So what I thought was one was not confirmed. So now we're scrambling. So that's why there was no challenge. And scooting through, Sissenstein looking to gain control out of the situation. And she does so, gets two points on the takedown, so she'll take a 6-4 lead here. 120 remaining, period two. Nothing doing in the bottom position. We come back up to our feet again, 9-4, our team score lead. After Felicity Taylor, who we just saw at 116 pounds, picked up a technical superiority. We also say technical fall, they're both correct. And Ward trying to hang on that leg as Sissenstein trying to peel the wrist, pop her leg free. Still scrambling. A lot of these scrambles, you can get points coming out of nowhere as doesn't really have to be a super solid technique. You can just actually throw your opponent over to the back. If they expose, boom, that's two. So you can get a little creative. One thing about freestyle scrambles is they are uh, <laughs> kind of a technician's nightmare at some point. Now, Ward went right back to that gator roll. And this time got caught, gives up two. And Sissenstein. Up 8-4, 16 to go here, 123 pounds. Number four, Cheyenne Sissenstein, leading number 10, Alexia Ward. At this point, Sissenstein can just kind of hang out and just don't give up anything. They hold the position, 2-1, and one, and that'll do it, 8-4. It'll be 3-1 for your team score. Cheyenne Sissenstein picks up the victory for the Tornado. Back with more from Louisville. It's the NWCA Multi-Divisional National Duels.